And now I'd like to introduce you to Ryan Biden, Director of Product Marketing from Samsung Telecommunications America. <laughs> Thank you, Will. It's great to be here. Now, when I talk about the new exciting features of the Galaxy S4, Ryan will elaborate. Uh, he's an elaborator. So if I say the new phone looks and feels awesome, he'll say, that's because it's slimmer yet stronger. Just look at it, side by side with the Galaxy S3. The Galaxy S4 is only 136.6 millimeters long by 69.8 millimeters wide. And at a mere 7.9 millimeters, it's mind-blowingly thin <laughs> and weighs only 130 grams. And yet the screen is now a full five inches. In other words, there's less to hold and more to see. And this is full HD Super AMOLED screen. It's unbelievably sharp. That's a 441 PPI. I like it. And we developed a new and innovative molding technology that creates this beautifully unreal polycarbonate material in two stunning colors, black mist and white frost. The finish and craftsmanship really are something to see and feel. And this kryptonite case, polycarbonate, still cool. And it's only, it's a totally new and upgraded user experience that you get from this interface. You can see how great it looks here. I mean, it's got such an incredibly slim and finely crafted look. You can see how thin it is there. And check out what happens when you hover your finger over the lock screen. This is all part of the new user experience upgrade and a new visual effects engine. It's so much more alive than ever before. And when you land at this beautifully laid out home screen, the pure black bar at the top is gone and it's been replaced with a graceful translucent effect. The point is to more subtly blend all that key indicator information like battery level and signal strength with the rest of the information on the home screen. Nice, I love the layout, the photo gallery. It's got a real hip magazine look and feel to it. Yeah, we've really spent a lot of time perfecting this look and feel, but Let's not forget what's under the hood, starting with connectivity and the fact that this is set to go out as a 4G LTE device. To be clear, that's category three, 100 MPS uh, downlink and 50 Mbps uplink up to hexaband. I'm probably the only one in the room who doesn't know what that means. Uh, so what that means is the Galaxy S4 will support downloads at 100 megabits per second and uploads at 50 megabits per second. Go ahead. Thank you. As Mr. Shin mentioned before, we'll launch this phone with TD and FDD dual mode, LD, uh, LTE, a little bit later this year. And it supports Wi-Fi, A, B, G, N, and AC, and also Bluetooth 4.0. We've also got, <laughs> plug, we've also got an infrared LED, it's our remote control function, so users can control their TVs with the Galaxy S4, and enjoy Samsung Watch On, which gives you access to TV programming as well as aggregated video on demand services. Um, while we're here, let's talk about the cameras. Yes. The main camera on the back is 13 megapixel, and the front facing is two. So, all of your shop, shots will be sharp, colorful, and true to life. And we've got some great features on the camera that we're going to get into in a moment. Uh, as for memory and storage, the Galaxy S4 will ship with 2 gigs of LPDDR3 RAM. It's got 16 gigs, gigabytes of storage built in with options for 32 and 64. And of course, a micro SD slot that will give you space for up to 64 gigs more. And then of course, there's an array of sensors, eight sensors in total, including standard ones like those you see behind me. Plus two new ones, infrared gesture and temperature and humidity. It's a lot of sensors. Uh, we wanted to give users a device that will really understand what's going on around them and give them useful information that can enrich and fulfill their lives. Well, now all that gadgetry has got to use up a lot of power. We're constantly upgrading the operating system to find efficiencies. But the main thing we did to make sure that you can make it through your day is build the Galaxy S4 around a 2600 milliamp hour battery. 